good morning to all of you hope you all are fine right hello am i audible or not yes sir yes sir okay okay good morning myself manish thakur i am the assistant professor in mechanical engineering department at dumka engineering college today i am going to teach you the extrusion process right it is also known as a bulk deformation process right and what is extrusion anyone what is extrusions do no or not okay look at the definitions of extrusions right extrusion is the bulk forming process or bulk deformation process in which the work material is forced or compressed right work material is forced or compressed to flow through a die opening right right to produce a desired cross section sectional stress right okay look at the figure here that this is the product which is to be made right okay this is the product this is the final project product which is to be made suppose this is the rod right round rod around bar right that is to be produced through the extrusion process right okay so what is the extrusion process look at the arrangement of the extrusion process here like this is the container here right this is the container this is what this is the container and this is what this is the die right die there is the opening between the, these two dies right there is a opening between these two uh, uh, two dies right okay so that opening will be equal to the diameter of the rod right or diameter of the final product is it clear or not the dimensions of the die opening will be equal to the final product diameter of the final product clear okay so what will have to do you have to just keep a billet here you have to this is the billet here right this is the work piece work piece or billet right this is to be kept here and this is a, there is a ramp right this is the ramp arrangement right through which you are going to apply the force here right we are going to apply the force through the ramp here right okay by the application of pressure or ramp forces the metal gets excused metal gets metal gets excused through this to this opening right is jo opening hai uske through metal kya karega metal will flow like this right and your desired shape can be or desired product can be achieved here right this is the process how the extrusion is happening here right this is known as extrusion process what is the example here excusing of toothpaste from the toothpaste tube theek hai aap subah subah brush karte ho right the brush karne ke durations mein kya hota hai aap excuse karte ho theek hai excuse uh, excuse kis cheez ka karte ho aap toothpaste ko kya karte ho dabate ho push karte ho that is you are going to apply a force right you are going to apply a force right and what is happening through the die opening or cavity right this is the die uh, this is what this is a tube this is a tube here right and this is what this is the opening right opening through which your toothpaste is toothpaste is flowing through this right okay so what is happening here you are going to push the tube here right through the backward position right and the pressurized fluid will exit through this opening here and this is known as similar to the die opening right this is the similar uh, extrusion process is the similar to the excusing of toothpaste uh, toothpaste from the toothpaste tube clear to everyone or not clear to everyone or not yes sir samajh mein aaya theek hai aur similar yes. structure hai jaisa ki hum toothpaste ko use karte hain toothpaste ko excuse karte hain subah subah theek hai for brushing right brushing the teeth here right theek hai to wo similar process hai extrusion process is also you have to apply the ram uh, you have to apply the pressure through the lamp here uh, uh, on the billet the billet will the metal gets flow right through the die opening right and you will get the product here whatever the product shape may be you can achieved here suppose ki you are going to you are going to uh, you are going to uh, get a hexagonal shape hexagonal shape Uh, of uh, 
रोड ठीक है रोड का किसी टाइप का शेप हो सकता है दैट इज आइर इट मे बी ट्रेंगुलर शेप आइर इट मे बी हेक्सागोनल आइर इट मे बी रेक्टेंगुलर शेप और आइर इट मे बी आइर इट मे बी राउंड शेप दैट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस बाय द एक्सक्लूशन प्रोसेस राइट अकॉर्डिंगली यू हैव टू डिजाइन द डायोपनिंग राइट ठीक है क्लियर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्सक्लूशन प्रोसेस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन और नॉट ओके लुक एट द्लाइड हेयर वॉट इज द एडवांटेज हेयर द वराइटी ऑफ सेफ आर पॉसिबल राइट स्पेशली यूजिंग द हॉट एक्सक्लूशन प्रोसेस बिकॉज वॉट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ हॉट हॉट एक्सक्लूशन प्रोसेस in the hot extrusion process it is done above what recrystallization temperature but that is a t, uh, temperature will be tm 0.5 times the tm to 0.75 times of melting point temperature that is the sigma flow stress right sigma flow stress flow stress ko aise bhi likhte hain aur y se bhi denote karte right y se bhi denote karte hain flow stress ko right theek hai to ye jo aapka flow stress hua right that is flow that flow stress is reduced here right as the uh, you are going to uh, do the hot extrusion operation right theek hai to usme kya dete hain feed dete hain feed kyu dete hain taki uska jo aapka jo yielding stress hai aur flow stress jo hai that uska magnitude kya hoga decrease kar jaye right theek hai to yadi magnitude decrease kar gaya to the shape of the material can be changed into different type of shape clear to everyone ठीक है उसको डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सेफ में हम कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं यदि यदि इसका मैग्नीट्यूड ज्यादा रहेगा इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू चेंज द सेप ऑफ द मटेरियल बिकॉज यू आर रिक्वायर्ड लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ फोर्सेस टू कन्वर्ट इनटू द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सेफ राइट ठीक है तो हॉट मटेरियल का यूज क्यों करते हैं हॉट वर्किंग का क्योंकि इसका जो आपका क्या है जो फ्लो स्ट्रेस का वैल्यू है वो डिक्रीज कर देता है राइट ग्रेन स्ट्रक्चर एंड स्ट्रेंथ प्रॉपर्टी आर एनहांस्ड इन द कोल and work extrusion process already i have told you na the cold extrusion uh, cold extruded work or cold work material is highly uh, in strength and uh, they have the enhanced uh, mechanical property clear to everyone theek hai uske paas kya hai yadi hot working or cold working ki hum baat karte hain to already hum discuss kar chuke hain ki jo cold work operations ke dwara jo work hum prapt karte hain theek hai that work have the good strength as well as wetter surface finish according to uh, relative to the hot working operation am i right or not am i right or not am i right or not yes sir okay okay also in the cold operations close tolerance are possible already i have discussed in the uh, difference uh, uh, difference between hot working operations cold working operations i uh, already have mentioned right theek hai so look at this uh, there may be a different type of extrusion process that is first one is direct or it is also known as forward extrusion process direct or forward extrusion process is the same thing right next is indirect or backward extrusion process third one is hydrostatic extrusion process and uh, fourth is impact extrusion process right we will discuss to one by one here okay look at this figure here what does it mean right look at the definitions direct or it is known as forward extrusion process direct or forward extrusion process right a metal billet is first loaded into the container right a metal billet billet is what billet is the work material here right this is the work piece or work material this is the work material and this is the product here right theek hai so first of all you have to load the first of all you have to load the work material or billet into the container this is the container here right this is the container right look at the figure here theek hai so this is the container right and when the ram is uh, uh, we are going to apply the ram Uh, we are going to apply the pressure through the ram here right a ram presses the material this is the material this is the billet right the ram will press the material and the metal will flow through the die opening metal will flow through this die opening right this is known as direct or 
forward extrusion process right right or not this is known as direct or forward extrusion process right ठीक है तो अब लास्ट पोजीशंस पे जब आएगा ठीक है तो व्हाट इज हैपेंस देखो यहां पे नेक्स्ट देखते हैं सम एक्स्ट्रा पोर्शन ऑफ द बिलेट विल बी प्रेजेंट एट द एंड ऑफ द प्रोसेस व्हेन द प्रोसेस विल एंड्स टू एंड व्हाट विल हैपन देयर मे बी सम एक्स्ट्रा पोर्शंस लाइक दिस ठीक है दिस इज द इनिशियल पोजीशंस ऑफ दिस इज द इनिशियल पोजीशंस ऑफ रैम सपोज दिस इज द फाइनल पोजीशंस ऑफ रैम राइट दिस इज द फाइनल पोजीशंस ऑफ रैम दिस इज द final position of the frame right so this is the final position of the frame what will happen after uh, after reaching the final position the metal will not extruded further right metal this is the metal remaining metal this is the remaining metal this will not extruded further isko kya karte hain extrude nahi kar pate hain further right so what will happen you have to remove this right you have to remove this this part right you have to remove this part like this right this is the product here and this is the extra material right this is the product here right this is the product here yahan tak product mere paas hai theek hai to ye this extra material is known as but this is known as butt but right and it it can be separated from the product this is the product here right and this is a uh, this but can be separated by cutting the cutting this extra material that is the cutting the blood from the product here right this can be separated and you will get the exact product here clear clear everyone or not yes or no yes or no yes Hello? sir okay next what there may be some disadvantages here because when uh, look at the figure here suppose this is the work piece here this is the work piece here and this is what this is the container wall this is the container wall there will be a friction between these two surface uh, this surface the common surface right the uh, there will be friction between the work piece and the there will be a friction between the work piece and the container wall is it clear or not is it clear or not there will be friction yes. or not okay so what will happen yadi aap kya karte ho yadi aapka motions yadi ram ka motions forward directions mein hai that is from left to right the friction force kidhar kaam karega opposite kaam karega right opposite kaam karega theek hai to is opposite force ye friction force ko counter karne ke liye humko kya dena padega extra pressure dena padega right extra force dena padega theek hai so in this case in this case we can say that in the direct extrusion or forward extrusion we have to apply the more forces right we have to apply the more forces or more pressure to execute the extrusion process clear to everyone yahan pe kya hota hai yahan pe frictional force zyada create hota hai due to the contact surface between the right in direct extrusion a significant amount of frictional forces exist between the billet surface and the container wall okay as the billet is forced to slide towards the die opening because of the presence of friction a substitutes a, a substantial increase in the ram forces is required right yahan pe kya ho gaya ram forces that is ram forces is increased due to the presence of frictional forces is it clear or not clear or not clear yes sir okay theek hai okay in the hard working conditions jab aap hard working mein kaam kar rahe ho right hard working hard working kehne ka matlab we are going to uh, do the work above the recrystallization temperature so what happen to so, is surface jo hoga jo aapka kaun sa surface hoga contact surface that is billet surface and container wall ठीक है वहां पे क्या लगाएगा वहां पे तो एक ऑक्सीडेस ऑक्सीडेशन फॉर्मेशन होगा मेटल ऑक्साइड का फॉर्मेशन होगा राइट ठीक है तो मेटल ऑक्साइड फॉर्मेशन के कारण फ्रिक्शनल प्रॉब्लम आल्सो इंक्रीज हियर राइट द बाय द बाय द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स लेयर ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द बिलेट समझ में आया बात क्लियर और नॉट ये समझ में आई बात यदि आप फ्रिक्शन हॉट वर्किंग की कोल्ड वर्किंग का कोल्ड वर्क ऑपरेशंस करता है या कोल्ड एक्सक्लूशन प्रोसेस में क्या होता है फ्रिक्शन फोर्स एग्जिस्ट करता ही करता है लेकिन आप यदि 
थर्ड एक्सक्लूशन प्रोसेस के लिए आप जाते हो तो क्या होता है देर में बी इंक्रीज इन द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्सेस बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीडाइज लेयर ठीक है ऑक्साइड लेयर कहने का मतलब क्या है मेटल ऑक्साइड बनाता है ठीक है ड्यू टू द प्रजेंस ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन मेटल क्या है हिट पोजिशन में तो क्या उसके लेयर पे क्या बनेगा उसका अपर सर्फेस जो कॉन्टेक्ट में एयर के कॉन्टेक्ट में वो ऑक्साइड के रिएक्ट करके क्या करेगा मेटल ऑक्साइड बनाएगा जिसके कारण क्या है फ्रिक्शनल फोर्सेस और क्या हो जाता है बढ़ जाता है राइट एंड दिस ऑक्साइड ऑक्साइड लेयर कैन क्यूज द डिफेक्ट इन द एक्सक्लूडेड प्रोडक्ट ये क्या करता है बाद में डिफेक्ट क्रिएट करता है राइट ये क्या करता है बाद में डिफेक्ट क्रिएट करता है इसको इनकाउंटर करने के लिए हम क्या करते हैं यदि मान लो कि हम ये दिस इज द This is the आपका container है This is the container here, right? This is the container here. ध्यान से देखिएगा This is the container here, right? And this is what? This is the die opening here, right? This is the die opening here. This is the die opening. This is what? This is die. Clear? तो यहाँ पे क्या रखा है यहाँ पे यहाँ पे क्या रखा है यहाँ पे मान लो कि दिस इज वर्क मटेरियल राइट वर्क मटेरियल रखा है यहाँ पे क्या यहाँ पे कौन सा लेयर बन गया बताओ यहाँ से हॉट वर्किंग कंडीशन में देर में भी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑक्साइड लेयर दैट इज द मेटल ऑक्साइड लेयर ठीक है इसको हम क्या करेंगे एलिमिनेट करेंगे तब हम क्या करेंगे एक अच्छा प्रोडक्ट बना पाएंगे दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट विल बी डिफेक्ट फ्री प्रोडक्ट राइट ठीक है तो वट विल है ठीक है एक डमी ब्लॉक यहाँ पे ऐड कर देंगे ठीक है डमी ब्लॉक ऐड कर देंगे और इसके थ्रू क्या करेंगे हम यहाँ पे क्या डाल दिया हमने प्लंजर डाल दिया प्लंजर और रैम डाल दिया राइट थ्रू विच वी आर गोइंग टू पुस द मटेरियल राइट थ्रू विच वी आर गोइंग टू पुस द मटेरियल और मेक अप्लाई द फोर्स राइट ठीक है तो प्लंजर अब ये क्या करेगा मेटल ये क्या करेगा इसको क्या करेगा फोर्स करेगा पुश करेगा तो ये जो आपका ये जो सरफेस है ये सरफेस विल बी एरोड ठीक है यहाँ पे क्या होगा ये सरफेस यहाँ से रिमूव हो जाएगा और यहाँ पे आपका एग्जैक्ट जो ऑक्साइड फ्री लेयर है दैट कैन बी एक्सक्लूडेड हेयर क्लियर टू एवरी वन और नॉट क्लियर टू एवरी वन वन नॉट दिस ये जो आपका जो डाई ओपनिंग जो आपका सॉरी क्या है आपका जो डमी ब्लॉक का जो डायमेंशन होगा दैट विल बी ए स्मॉलर स्लाइटली स्मॉलर देन द बिलेट डायमीटर राइट बिलेट डायमीटर दिस इज द बिलेट हेयर एंड दिस इज द डमी ब्लॉक राइट डमी ब्लॉक का डायमीटर बिलेट का डायमीटर से क्या होगा कम होगा ठीक है सो दैट इट कैन बी ऑक्साइड लेयर कैन बी रिमूव हेयर क्लियर टू एवरी वन होप इट इज क्लियर क्लियर yes, कोई कुछ बोल नहीं रहे हो जी यस ओके ठीक है लुक एट दिस इन द इन द डायरेक्ट एक्सक्रूशन प्रोसेस यू कैन ऑल्सो मेक अ हॉलो सेप दिस इज द हॉलो सेप राइट एंड दिस इज द स्क्वायर दिस इज द चैनल दैट इज दॉलो चैनल सेप राइट ठीक है बाय यूजिंग मैंड्रल मैंड्रल इज ए Mantle is a device which is uh, used to create the hole in a extruded product. Right? So hollow sections like tube can be made using the direct extrusion setup as shown in the figure. The starting billet is prepared with the hole. This is the billet here. This is the billet and having a hole here, right? In which we are going to insert the mandrel, right? Is me kya karenge ham mandrel ko insert kar denge, right? And as the billet is compressed here to the ram pressure, billet is compressed to the ram air, right? And the material uh, material will flow, right? Material will flow through the die opening. This is the die opening. This is only the die opening, right? Through which the material will flow, right? Flow through the gap between the mandrel and the die opening, right? Or you can uh, we can achieve the hollow shape product here. That is the you can make the pipe or You by using the extrusion process. Clear? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. कुछ वीडियो आप लोग देखोगे YouTube में animations वीडियो देखोगे समझ में आ जाएगा right? यहाँ पे आप लोगों को दिक्कत होता है तो बताना. 
okay okay look at this here this is the uh, second uh, uh, second type of extrusion process that is the indirect extrusion process or this is known as backward extrusion process right in this the die is mounted on the ram yahan pe dhyan se dekhna yahan pe kya tha uh, in the in the uh, direct extrusion process in the direct extrusion process this is the die here this is what this is the die here which is attached to the container which is attached to the container but in case of indirect extrusion we are going to attach the die on the ram side right okay so this is the die here this is the die and this is attached to the ram this is attached to the ram here and this is what this is the billet this is what this is the billet or work material right this is the work material right so what will happen when whenever you are going to push the material what happen the metal will flow the metal will flow in the backward direction clear to everyone the metal kidhar flow karega forward direction na ho ke kya karega backward direction mein metal will flow here right this is that is why it is known as indirect or backward extrusion process right so what will be directions what will be the directions of the metal flow the metal flow will directions of force dekho suppose the directions of ram directions kitna hai ram directions is suppose left to right right and in case of backward directions what will the, the uh, product dimensions uh, product uh, directions that is opposite direction clear to everyone but in case of direct extrusion right what will uh, the directions the ram directions will be same ram directions or product di product directions will be same as that of the ram directions but in case of the indirect or backward directions it is opposite to the ram directions is it clear that is why it is known as backward extrusion process clear clear look at this here flow through the die hole on the ram side which is opposite directions to the movement of the ram right okay the metal will flow opposite to the ram direction right in case of a direct extrusion process what will happen the metal will flow in the same direction as that of the direction of the movement of the ram but in case of backward direction the metal will flow opposite directions to that of the movement of the ram is it clear is it clear is it clear yes is it clear uh, or no, not okay okay since look at this here uh, second line is there is no relative motion between the billet and the container right this is the container surface container wall and this is the billet okay this is the billet this this is the surface of contact right you can see that there is no movement there is no movement uh, a relative movement between the die and the container wahan pe kya karta tha wahan pe jo aapka die hai kya karta tha move karta tha right from left to right according to the motion of the uh, ram right but here there is no movement only the material is moving through this through this die gap right theek hai to yahan pe iska koi relative movement nahi hoga that is why there will be friction forces is equal to zero here right is it clear or not the friction force kahan pe lagega yahan pe die aur wall die aur container wall ke beech mein lagega this will be very less friction force right ठीक है तो यहाँ पे हम कह सकते हैं कि देर इज एज देर इज दो फ्रिक्शन एट द इंटरफेस बिटवीन द कंटेनर वॉल एज वेल एज बिलेट सरफेस हेंस द रैम फोर्सेस विल बी लोअर देन द डायरेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन कैन यू राइट द रैम फोर्सेस विल बी लेस देन इन द इनडायरेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन देन दैट ऑफ द रैम फोर्स रैम फोर्स इन द डायरेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन राइट ठीक है तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा इनका क्या है यहाँ पे फ्रिक्शन फोर्स एग्जिस्ट नहीं कर रहा है ठीक है तो रैम को एक्स्ट्रा वर्क नहीं करना पड़ेगा तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा इनडायरेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन में वी आर गोइंग टू देर इज अ नीड ऑफ लोअर फोर्सेस दैट ऑफ दैन दैट ऑफ द डायरेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन फोर्सेस क्लियर क्लियर 
clear this is the figure we, uh, uh, in which we are going to make the solid work piece right and here this the product will be hollow hollow shape right okay the product will have the hollow shape that is the tube shape or pipe shape clear this is the indirect extrusion process clear okay next is hydrostatic extrusion process right look at this as the hydrostatic extrusion process is what the billet is surrounded with the fluid inside the container and the fluid is pressurized by the forward motion of the ram look look at this here this is what this is the water or fluid air right this is the fluid air we are going to apply a pressure through the ram the pressure distributed through the the pressure is transferred through the fluid right fluid bhi kya karega pressure ko transmit karega right right ye yahan pe kya hoga there will be no any uh, type of friction will be exist here right is it clear or not is it clear or not can we say here in the hydrostatic extrusion the billet is what billet is a smaller air right there there is a no direct contact between this surface and this surface right that is the container wall and billet surface there is a no direct contact is it clear to everyone so there will be no any existence of frictional forces right theek hai yahan pe koi frictional force kaam nahi kar raha hai right so jiske karan uh, the minimum forces is required to produce a product to the hydrostatic extrusion clear to everyone clear to everyone yes okay theek hai तो यहाँ पे क्या होता है कि बेसिकली यहाँ पे हाइड्रोस्टेटिक प्रेशर क्या होता है हाइड्रोस्टेटिक प्रेशर जो होता है इंक्रीज कर जो डॉक्टिलेटरी मटेरियल थ्रू द हाइड्रोस्टेटिक एक्सट्रूशन प्रोसेस यू कैन मैन्युफैक्चर द प्रोडक्ट आइडर इट इट इज ऑफ द डक्टाइल मटेरियल और ऑफ द ब्रिटल मटेरियल ठीक है तो बेसिकली जो आपका क्या बोलते हैं डायरेक्ट एक्सट्रूशन और इनडायरेक्ट एक्सट्रूशन में क्या करते हैं ब्रिटल मेटल के कंपोनेंट बनाते हैं दैट इज द ब्रिटल ड्यू टू द ब्रिटलनेस इट विल फ्रैक्चर इट विल गेट फ्रैक्चर राइट ठीक है तो प्रोडक्ट मे नॉट बी मैन्युफैक्चर एक्यूरेटली बट इन केस ऑफ हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर यू कैन यूज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ हैविंग द डक्टिलिटी और हैविंग द ब्रिटलनेस प्रॉपर्टी राइट ठीक है तो एनी प्रॉपर्टी कैन बी एनी टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल that can be manufactured by using the hydrostatic extrusion process clear is that clear or not is there any questions then ask me regarding the topic hello virender bisujit kunal लक्ष्मण मंदीप हफीजा यस सर इज देयर एनी क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग द स्लाइड और टॉपिक नीलांजन प्रिंस रघुवंश रवि समजीत तपन किसी को कोई डाउट नहीं है आप लोग का लैब हो रहा है क्या लास्ट क्लास में लैब नहीं हुआ था हेलो नो सर बहुत बात नहीं की उससे रोशन सर से नहीं सर तुम लोग का जिस दिन लैब रहा था उस दिन रिमाइंड करा कि सर लैब है ऐसा तो उसको लेना चाहिए था आज मंडे है ना अच्छा बुधवार शुक्रवार खुलेगा तो बता देंगे जैसे दो ग्रुप में बांटे ना तो एक ग्रुप प्रैक्टिकल कर लेगा दूसरा ग्रुप लैब नहीं ठीक है खुलेगा तो बता देंगे लेकिन अभी तुम लोग क्लास इंगेज नहीं कर रहा है वो ये लैब ऑफलाइन में ठीक रहेगा सर ऐसे मतलब बस फोटो देखने से उतना नहीं समझ आता है लैब में वो क्या करता है चला के छोड़ देता है क्या नहीं मतलब सर कोई भी किसी भी सब्जेक्ट का लैब होता है ना तो मतलब वैसा नहीं समझ पाते हैं सर लैब में इसीलिए 
नहीं भी करेंगे चलेगा नहीं 